What is Chinese New Year? Chinese New Year is a 15-day festival celebrated in countries all around the world and a perfect time to bring families and communities together. From fireworks, singing, lanterns, firecrackers, drums, and dancing, there's a lot to love about Chinese New Year. What are the origins of the Chinese New Year? Chinese New Year has roots in an old Chinese legend. As the story goes, an ancient beast, Nian, would awaken once a year to spread terror and destruction in a nearby village. Nian would destroy properties, devour livestock, and even attack children if he could get his claws on them. The terrified villagers would hide in the mountains when Nian would come to ransack their homes. But one year, a man arrived in the village. He insisted that he would stay and scare Nian away. When Nian arrived, he found an empty village, except for one house decorated with red paper and candles, which angered him. When he charged toward the house, Nian was scared by a loud cracking sound. To keep the town safe, the villagers hung red banners, lit bright lanterns, and used noisy firecrackers. When is Chinese New Year? The date changes from year to year. It takes place every year between late January and early February. It follows an ancient farmer calendar based on the phases of the moon. Preparing for the New Year Chinese New Year serves as a fresh start for the new year. Some Chinese people spring clean their homes and gardens to sweep away any bad luck. Homes are decorated with paper scrolls and lanterns with good luck phrases such as happiness on them. Debts are paid, quarrels are resolved, and any work is brought up to date. New Year's Eve events People stay up until midnight, setting off fireworks to scare away evil spirits. Many families gather together and have a large traditional feast of fish and chicken. In the north, people eat di jiaozi, a steamed dumpling. In the south, people eat nian gao, a sticky sweet rice pudding. New Year's Day Events The first stop of the day is the temple to worship the gods and to welcome the new year. Often, family members start the day with brand new clothes from head to toe. Fun fact, red is a very popular color for clothing as it is considered lucky. Children wake up to find red envelopes filled with money and sweets under their pillows left by their parents or grandparents. Most Chinese families gather together for a New Year's banquet. Each family has their own special dish they prepare for this time. The second day. On this day, the birth of the Chinese god of wealth, Tai Shen, is celebrated. It's a time for visiting families, praying to ancestors, as well as the gods. The second day is believed to be the birthday of all dogs, so dogs are treated with special foods. The third and fourth days. On the third day, traditions say people should not visit friends and relatives on this day. Instead, they visit the temple of wealth and have their futures told. On the fourth day, most people go back to work. However, it is also the day of spring dinners. Businesses have department dinners or social events for their employees. The 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th days. On the 5th day, dumplings are eaten for good luck and some people shoot firecrackers to worship the god of war. On the 6th day, firecrackers are thrown to keep away bad spirits to worship the god of war. On the seventh day, it's considered to be everyone's birthday. On the eighth day, this is the eve of the Jade Emperor's birthday. 
special family dinners are held. On the ninth day, it's the Jade Emperor's birthday. The Emperor is worshipped by lighting incense and offering prayers. The 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th days. On the 10th day, recognition and offerings continue toward the Jade Emperor. On the 11th and 12th days, family dinners are held. On the 13th day, people eat vegetarian foods to give their stomachs a rest. On the 14th day, this day is spent resting and preparing for the Lantern Festival, the last day of Chinese New Year. The 15th day. The 15th day is known as the Lantern Festival. Crowds of people watch dragon dancing and lion dancing parades. Families walk the streets with their glowing lanterns, and candles are lit outside homes to guide wayward spirits home. How is the Chinese New Year commemorated? Similar to Thanksgiving, the Eve of Chinese New Year should be a time for traditional dishes, reconnecting with friends or family members, and spending time with older relatives. Another popular tradition during Chinese New Year is the symbolic lion dance. If you get a chance to watch one in person, look closely at the performers. This is a show conducted by two to three men, all wearing the same lion costume. The traditional dance is known historically as a way to scare away evil spirits and bring good fortune for the new year. Like Christmas, the new year also comes with plenty of gifts. Red boxes and envelopes are exchanged with money inside. All that's left to say is Xin Yan Kuai Le, which means Happy Chinese New Year. For more information and resources related to Chinese New Year, head to twinkle.com.